Ah, it is time for a little Ubuntu Excellent. goodness, indeed. Excellent. Last week they had the new release of the distro. Ubuntu is a Linux distro. It's a distribution of the popular uh, Linux operating system that a lot of people seem to like. The new version is 7.10, mm-hmm. and its uh, code name, I guess people like to call it that, is Gutsy Gibbon. Ooh, and, uh, flashy. Yeah. And i got to say, it uh, incorporates a slew of new features. Like and, what? Well... In addition, uh, improved hardware support, I think, is the big one. Uh, Everything from better driver support, better graphics card support are the two big ones, I think, Mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Uh, Things like Wi-Fi card support and hardware support. So if you're using either a notebook or even Wi-Fi hardware in your computer, you'll be able to hook up to your networks easier, in addition to just the the chipsets themselves. Supports a broader range of hardware that way. Also... uh, Things like integrated desktop search. So whether it's on your computer and things like that, you now have a tool built right into the desktop that allows you to just search away for So kind of like Spotlight on a Mac or... Exactly. Okay. And, you know, we can talk about this on and on, but it's, I think, even better just to actually show it off. So let's get right to it. Uh, One uh, one of the big deals that was introduced with the last go-around was uh, a feature you had to kind of hack into the system called Compiz Fusion. Uh, That feature, which I like to... Called basically Jiggly Windows, or <laughs> wow. is this? It's this uh, 3D desktop system. This is actually you don't get the full 3D desktop system by default. You actually have to install. Uh, it's not enabled by default, but it's easy enough to enable by simply hey right clicking on the background and you go into the Visual Effects system. And here, let me move this up into here and right down here at the bottom. Here. <laughs> yeah, and all you have to do is just. Simply, hey, extra, I want to be able to turn on the more aesthetically pleasing set of effects. Now, normally you would have to, when you check that box, it would say, oh, wait a minute, you need a certain set of drivers pre-installed. Now, in this case, we're using an ATI graphics card, and before, uh, you had to go through a big rigmarole in order to get that driver support for ATI hardware. In this case, right out of the gate, ATI graphics cards were supported by default with the current driver load that's on the disk, which I found terrific. Now, there are things called restricted drivers that are uh, proprietary drivers that are available from ATI. They are available natively with on, the di- on the disk itself, but I found that when I enabled those proprietary drivers, it actually broke the effect system that you're seeing right there, oh. the j- jiggly windows. So, in essence, what I'm saying is, if you have ATI hardware, leave everything alone in this case, which is great. Now, in the case of NVIDIA hardware, I had to enable those proprietary drivers, the restricted drivers, in order to get things to work. Minor, but just something to be aware of if you like the jiggly window effect, like I like. However, the other thing, too, is a virtual desktop system. So, hey, I like this. Watch. I'll slide this over. And we have actually That's two desktop cool. windows. So this is actually a separate window. And if I bring it back this way, boom. So I'm going to keep that over there for now. And I'll click on this little thing over here to actually... Oh, I can't barely see what I'm doing there. Oop, get back to where I'm at. So here's the browser. And here's that integrated search tool I was talking about. Whoops, let me bring that back up. And desk bar applet. And there you go. There's your desktop search in of effect. And what else? The other thing, too, I just want to point out is that with all of your great stuff as far as Linux is concerned, I think one of my favorite things of all is something called the Synaptic Package Manager. This has been around forever... And if there is a better way of getting software into your computer, I I have to say this is arguably my favorite part of the Linux distribution. Regardless of what you need, it could be anything from, say, I need, oh, you know what, I need to install Flash. Uh, And so I'll just type in, say, Adobe Flash. If I could learn how to type today. And it will do its little search thing, and this could actually take a couple seconds while it does that. But... Rather than going out to the web and looking for things, there's, in this case, about 23,000 different applications of all sorts. So it will go out and find those packages that I need to install. It lets me, from within the operating system, pick those packages and, in, really, in essence, safely install things. So in this case, it's telling me, hey, here's the Flash plugin. It, it turns out this is a non-free install, so I am actually hmm. doing proprietary software installs. But this also works for a variety of other packages as well. Uh, literally everything from applications like office-style apps to multimedia tools to practically anything. If you could think about it, you can find it and install it through this application. And it's, it's one of the safest ways to protect your operating system. You can restrict it to, say, applications that are approved or... Okay, so yeah. it will rank them by yeah. safety or where they're coming from? And you can also... Yes, and there's also ways of doing that as well, using different repositories or how safe the sources of the software are. You can select or deselect those, depending mm-hmm. on your level of comfort. Which is pretty cool. That's really cool. 